Hi Flashtube! I'm Kayla, the Hufflepuff Stitcher, and welcome to my channel! I just wanted to start out with a huge thank you to everyone who liked, commented, subscribed uh, with my last video. It means the absolute world to me that people are even interested in seeing what I'm up to with my cross-stitching. And it's just mind-blowing to me. So thank you so much for all of the positivity. Uh, I also wanted to introduce you guys real quick to Luna, who has decided to join us this week. The sun is returning in Michigan. We're actually supposed to get up in the 60s later this week. So that is amazing. She has come out from the bedroom a bit. Um, still liking the blanket on my lap. I'm guessing Zelda's curled up somewhere napping. I'm not quite sure. I would assume probably down in the bedroom. Um, so my basic idea for today is I want to do the Know Your Needleworker tag. And then from there, kind of go over what I've been up to this past week. And then move on to my plans for this coming week. So I figured I'd just jump right in. Um, I've got the questions written down over here, so I will be looking down a little bit. Uh, the first question in the Know Your Needleworker tag is, where do you live? I live in Michigan, which, uh, in case you're not super fantastic with your United States geography, is right there. Um, we are the state shaped like a mitten, and here in Michigan, we like to give directions using our hands. So if my hand is the state, I live down here near Kalamazoo. Um, the next question is, what do you do for a living? I have got my degree in elementary education, and I've got a double minor in math and science. So I actually work at a learning center right now doing one-on-one -on -one tutoring with students. Um, and my students at the moment are ranging in age from fourth grade up through 11th grade, which I know, especially 11th grade, definitely not elementary, but I love the high schoolers as well. They are just so much fun to work with. Uh, the next question is, do you have any children? Uh, we do not have any living children, unfortunately. We are still waiting for a rainbow. Uh, but we do have our fur babies and a scale baby, which leads us into the next question of, do you have any pets? Yes, we've got pets. Uh, we've got Zelda, who you met last week. She was the one sleeping on the couch behind me. And I've got little Luna here, who is just... All sorts of curled up and napping. Uh, I also have a crested gecko. His name is Godric, although he should really be named Salazar because he does not like people at all. Uh, and then we also have a guinea pig named Nugget, who you may hear from time to time. She likes to chew on the bars of her cage, despite the number of toys that we have in there for her something about the bars she just loves. So you may hear her every now and then. Uh, the next question is, what are your other hobbies besides stitching? Uh, like I said last time, I spent years working in different craft stores. Uh, so I picked up on a lot of different hobbies, you could say, a lot of different crafts. I like to scrapbook. I paint, I draw, color, I knit, crochet, uh, definitely nothing amazing. Like I know Jessie Marie, she blows my mind with the things that she's able to make. Uh, I, so far in my knitting and crocheting, I've made a scarf and a blanket. Not the greatest, but it's still fun. And I can say that I know the basics of it. Like the bare minimum basics. Uh, I also enjoy reading. So uh, this bookshelf over here is 
not my regular bookshelf. I have my bookshelf in another room. It's completely full and it started overflowing into this one a bit, um, but the rest of it is more my husband's video games. Uh, the next question, what is your favorite movie? I actually don't have a favorite movie. Uh, it really depends on my mood with what I want to watch. Uh, so, I mean, there are times I enjoy like spy movies. I can be in the mood for romance. I, it just, it really varies. Um, but a safe bet, Disney. Anything Disney, I'm down to watch. Uh, the next question is, what is your favorite TV show? And that's kind of a similar boat where it depends on my mood with what I want to watch. Uh, at, the mo at, the, at the moment, my husband and I are making our way through the most recent season of Supernatural that's on Netflix. Um, we also watch The Orville on Hulu. And I've been watching The Bachelor, which this season, the petty drama, I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, the next question, what is your favorite book? I would say it's hard to choose, but I'm the Hufflepuff Stitcher. I love Harry Potter. <laughs> I am part of the generation of kids that grew up with Harry, like with the books coming out, going to the midnight releases at Barnes & Noble, dressing up, um, going at midnight when the movies came out, also dressing up. <laughs> uh, I was raised with the Harry Potter, and I absolutely love it, in case you couldn't tell. The next one, what is your favorite music? I am not picky at all. I will listen to seriously anything ranging from classical music and opera to um, the top 40 hits. Um, what I will say is I don't do the like super heavy metal, screamo, can't understand what they're saying. And I'm also not into the heavy rap where it's just all profanity and that's that's not my thing uh, the last one what one word best describes you and for this one I'd have to go with optimistic I mean life is not always happy but there's always good there like especially nowadays you watch the news and it's a lot of negativity but you can always find the positive there. People trying to help, people trying to do the right thing. And looking on the bright side is the only way to make it through. Um, so that is a little bit about me. Um, let me know a little bit about yourselves down in the comments. I want to get to know this community. Uh, moving on to what I have worked on this week. So this past week in the School of Magical Stitches and Literature, which is a group on Facebook, um, the homework was to stitch on different things that could be found in Diagon Alley. So I chose to work on three different projects for this. And in case you're curious, the School of Magical Stitches and Literature is a group that you can join at any time. So just join the group, fill out the little sorting hat form, and you'll be put in a house so you can start earning some points. It's really fun. Uh, anyways, so the first place I chose to go to for my trip to Diagon Alley was Twilfit and Tattings, which is a clothing shop. Um, and I went there to get some fabulous dress robes. So for this one, I chose to work on Nora Corbett's Gigi, which here is where it was last week. And this is how far I got this week. So I am doing this one on a 28 count even weave um, just from Hobby Lobby that I writ dyed with some gray and I was able to get 
this skirt part down here done. Um, I got my 250 stitches and then a little bit more because there was a section that I had counted wrong and had to frog out and redo, which I know in the group you are able to, if you have to rip something out and then restitch it, you still get to count those stitches. So if you do, you know, 50 stitches and then you're like, oh no, this is in the wrong spot, you have to rip it out, you can, when you redo it, count it as another 50. But I wanted to make it more than what I had before, if that makes any sense what I'm trying to say at all. Uh, the next one that I worked on this week was to go to Wise Acres Wizarding Equipment, which is where I said I was going to be picking up my very own clock. That way I could keep up with what my family was doing while I'm away at school. Um, so I'm going to say that's kind of where the Weasleys got their family clock at. Uh, so here is where I was last time. This one is Little House Needleworks Clock Maker. And this is where I am now. So again, I'm just doing this one on a 28 count even weave from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is one that I hand dyed with some blue and then I did some tan as well. So there's you know, a little bit of variation in the fabric itself, but I was able to add pretty much the rest of the overhang there. So let's see if I can hold this. Yeah, so I was able to fill in this spot. I was able to add part of the clock in that window and then pretty much added this whole window here along with the steps out front. Uh, so I got, I feel like I did pretty good on that one. I got quite a bit done. This next one is the one that I am really proud of how much work I did. Uh, for this one here, I said that I went to Sugar Plum Sweet Shop so that I could pick up a snack because all that shopping made me hungry. So for this one, I'm doing the Pumpkinville Sal uh, by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Here's where it was last week. And here is where I am now. And I kicked some booty on this one this week. I completely finished that February block and I love it. Just wish that the sparkle would pick up on camera here. All of those snowflakes, um, the sign that's right here, the frosting, all of that is done with the um, glow, was it Petite Treasure Braid glow in the dark and it is gorgeous. So I was able to do my 250 stitches on that. And then I also was able to do another thousand stitches and counted that as part of the year long extra credit for uh, School of Magical Stitches. And I did that one for the seven secret passages to Hogsmeade because the passage that Harry likes to use is the one that comes out in the basement of Honeydukes. And so that being the bakery, that's gonna be my little sweet shop, my little Honeydukes there. Um, I also, I was able to complete more of the extra credit this week as well. So after I finished the official homework assignments, I went on and stitched on pretty much whatever I wanted. Um, but I was able to count it toward the extra credit. So for the monthly extra credit in Magical Stitches, let me get it out here. Oh, it's fine to get stuck in the bag. There we go. I worked on my giant Harry Potter and the extra credit assignment I did was to work on the frame or the border because Sirius Black was framed for the murder of the Potters. Spoiler alert in case you haven't read the books or seen the movies that have been out for years now. 
Um, and this piece has like almost a double border to it. So it's got these shapes along the outside. And then it also has an inner border with the spells. Kind of goes around both sides there. So what I did is I was able to get in 500 stitches on the side border. So I am pretty proud of how much I got done there. I was able to get those spells in. I was able to do the um, DMC metallic, which is a pain in the tush, but it looks amazing. And then some of this swirly madu shape. I'm not quite sure what to call that shape, but I got to start on it. So I got that finished. Yay! Um, oh, and I also got one other extra credit finished. So the other extra credit I did, what it was is you had to stitch on something from a previous challenge that you had not completed. So in February, there was an extra credit one that was to do 500 stitches on something with words. And uh, that I didn't finish that one. So I chose that as my redo. So what I did is I added 500 stitches onto my Mill Hill Poppy. So I can So this one, I'm getting super close to finishing the main stitches on. I just have, you know, that little bit more and then I can start on my back stitching and the beading. But this one has the word poppy. In my mind, that counts as stitching on something with words. So, yay! Now, this coming week, we just got our homework assignment. Um, we've got two different things to stitch on. So, the first one is we need to do uh, 300 stitches this time on something brown. And the reasoning for that is in the third year is when the Dementors come. And everyone knows the best cure for a Dementor attack is to eat some chocolate. So we need to do 300 stitches in brown. And I am going to try and get it all in on this. Now I haven't counted it. I don't know if that's going to be enough stitches there. But I know I want to do this top part up here and I've still got the tree trunks as well that are brown. Um, if that's not 300, I'm going to have to search through some of my other whips and see if I can find anything else to help finish up that number. Uh, but I'll get there when I get there. We'll see how much I'm able to finish. Uh, the other piece of this week's homework is we are starting Care of Magical Creatures class with Hagrid. So for that one, we need to stitch on something with claws or talons. And the way that this particular one is worded is we don't need to stitch on the thing itself that has the claws or talons. It's just stitching on the piece. So if there's something in the piece somewhere that has claws or talons, that's good enough. So I am going to add my 300 stitches to my giant Harry Potter. Since there's an owl up here, those have talons. Um, there's Crookshanks, he's got the claws. Um, but I don't want to have to count over to where those are. So what I'm going to do is since they're in the piece, I can add it anywhere on the piece. I'm going to be a little, I don't know if snarky is the right word, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to do it on McGonagall. I'm going to add McGonagall in because her animagus form is a cat, which has claws. Uh, so hopefully that will be enough stitches. Again, I haven't counted it, but if it's not, I'll keep going on something else, but still hopefully on that piece. 
Uh, and that's really my upcoming plans for this week. So before I leave you, I thought I would show off another one of my previous finishes. This one here is Leilani the Hula Dancer. This was my first ever Mirabilia and it is a freebie on their website. So whoop, Luna's moving on my lap. I lost my train of thought, but you can see the sparkles and the beads. This is my first time beading. Uh, this I did on a 28 count Caribbean blue even weave. Um, I believe it's picture this plus, but I could be totally wrong. I don't remember the brand. Um, I did make some changes on this. I did her skin one over one to make it a smoother texture. And then I also filled in the skirt. So the way that the pattern is on this one, the skirt is kind of open, but there's no legs showing underneath. And if the skirt's gonna be see-through, you should be able to see some legs under there. So rather than trying to figure out how to add legs to this, I just made it a solid hula skirt. So I did this one kind of as a happy memory piece for my honeymoon. My husband and I went to Hawaii for our honeymoon. So that is my Leilani. And that is all that I have for you guys this week. So I guess until I see you next time, keep it magical, guys. Bye.